Hi and welcome to another video from Peacock Archery. I'm Philip Watson and today we're taking a look at setting up a biter triliner. Well here we are all ready to go. I'll just walk you round the, the kit that you can see. Obviously we've got an arrow that we need to put some lines on. Uh, we've got a paint marker. This one happens to be silver, come in lots of different colours. Silver looks great against the, the carbon fibre backing. Um, you can use white, whatever you fancy. Uh, very, very fine nib, um, which is important. Can use a soft pencil if you want instead. Uh, we've got a wing holder, which comes as part of the kit. Uh, you don't need this for what we're about to do. We'll need it for when you actually come to Fletch. Um, that's a separate video. I'll put a link to that in the description box. So we don't need that right for the moment, so I'll put that to one side. We've got a series of knock adapters. So this is made by Biter, Werner Biter. So obviously it's designed specifically for using Biter knocks. And they come in three different types. So there's a number one, <coughs> which is this black one, which is equivalent to Eastern Small Groove. We've got this orange one, which is a number two, which is equivalent to uh, an Eastern Large Groove. Both of these are asymmetric. So these are to fit, I don't know if you can see that just from the angles there, um, they're designed to fit the asymmetric biter knocks. And then <clears throat> here we've got a uh, hunter, so this is to fit the symmetric um, biter knocks. And this is the one that we'll use, um, fits eastern knocks well, both large groove and small groove. And the reason we have it at all is that, and you, difficult you might not be able to see. Right in the bottom of the tri-liner there is um, a single um, kind of peg <clears throat> and rather than have to change out the peg what Biter has done is uh, um, produce these uh, adapters so you clip this onto the arrow and then this with the standard peg fitting goes inside so you've always got good registration between the arrow you're using with its various knock and the actual um, adapter itself. Um, so that's the one we're going to be using. <clears throat> the tri-liner comes with three arms and you'll be wondering what these little pegs are. So we're going to be using these to determine whereabouts we're putting the lines and how long the lines need to be. So I've got an arrow here which I've already fletched and if I line that up with there you can see I've put these two pegs at the start and the finish of where I want my line to go on the arrow. <clears throat> so that gives me a start and stop point for when I put the, the line on. And the other thing is I've marked which is going to be my cock fletching. So on the back here there's a little scale and you can <clears throat> offset it either positive or negative. I'm going to set it at zero and I've marked that, that position as being my, my starting point. So here's my arrow. So the next thing I'm going to do is clip it into the knock adapter, just like that. Then open up the tri-liner. I'm going to insert it into the tri-liner. It'll only go one way. Well, it'll go 180 degrees apart, but you can't put it um, slightly on the skew. It'll drop down into where it needs to be. Close the arms up. And there we are, already in set. I know that's going to be my cock fletching, my index fletching. <coughs> so then, with my paint pen, Just get ready to do this. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is draw the line between those two marks. I could do it this side or this side. I tend to do it on the upside since I'm right-handed. And, and then rotate it. Do the same again. And then rotate it and do the same again. Now I can open up the arms of the tri-liner, pull that off and out of the way. Pull off my knock adapter. And there we go, there's my three lines. 
120 degrees apart, all ready to go. <coughs> Just need to let that paint dry. If it was a pencil, I wouldn't. I'd be able to go straight into the fletching process. And um, that's all we need. So we can, we're ready to uh, start fletching with our spin wings, curly veins, whatever we choose. Okay, thanks very much for watching and see you again soon.